M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Quasheng Dock UVK5 and the AIOC adapter. If you've not heard of this device before, have a quick look at this picture here. It replaces the, the sort of UV5R cable and has a USB-C connection out to your PC. And this is going to allow you to be able to use Quasheng Dock plus other many other devices, including Packet Radio, APRS, and a program called Dire Wolf with your UVK5 and the adapter does also work with both phones and other budget devices. But we need to set it up if we want to listen to the audio and transmit with our Quashang Dock and our UVK5. So let's have a look. You can just about see where my finger is here. My device is plugged in. Of course, it's got a case on it, but you can see just above my device, there's a, a, a photograph of the actual device. And they're about 20 pound. I'm gonna put the link in the description to you from G1 LRO to purchase the device. There's an eBay shop here. And if, in, if you're in the USA, I think Ham Radio do does one, but you can buy them. Just type in AIOC device. So then you just connect your dock in the usual way. The COM port number will be different than your UV5R cable. If I just go right click device manager, double click, it's, it still says USB serial device. And that's basically what the AIOC does. It gives you that from via a connection because I'm connected to the radio, um, the white cable here via USB-C. How handy is that? But we need to set up the audio. Now, if you go to settings here, we actually don't use enable pass through. Normally with a PC you do, but we don't in this case. You've got a volume there. Now, if you look at what I've selected here, the bottom one where it says audio out device, I've actually selected my my speakers on my monitor, but you'll probably select speakers on your PC. And then I've decided to have a dedicated microphone. So I've dug out an old microphone dedicated for the Quasheng dock. And you can see here, if I drop it down, I've actually renamed it microphone for dock. So it's actually not using this, the microphone I normally use that I'm using right now as I speak to you. So that's step one. Next thing you want to do is go into your control panel. Now, if you haven't got a shortcut for control panel, and thanks to Marcus, Nick Shaw, I have been watching your video. Remember, uh, please remember, I am a learner. I'm not a teacher, but I like to show what I learn because I feel that it helps people. Now, um, so, but thanks very much for every, all the work, of course. Fantastic. Um, so what we're going to do is, I've got a shortcut here. If you can't find your control panel, just in your little search thing at the bottom of Windows here, see my little mouse wiggling? Just click that and start to type control and you'll see it show up. There you are, and it shows up there. Look, and just click that. I've got my shortcut, but we'll click that. And we'll try and take my time here because it can get confusing because you're sort of, it feels like you're you're actually selecting two microphone connectors. Uh, that's what it feels like when you're doing the settings, but obviously you're not, because one is for your speakers. But what you are doing is linking your microphone to the speaker of your of your computer and to your, your chosen microphone. So I'm just gonna show you what I've done. So once you're in this window here, which is control panel, go over and select. Here, look, it says sound or hardware sound here, the green, select the green bit. Okay, and then a crossover sound, go to manage audio devices, click that. And you get this window here. Then across the top here, there is a tab, you've got playback, recording, sound, communication. So go to the, the second tab, see, second tab now. Here you should see the microphone you have decided to use for your AIOC device. Mine is the bottom one there, look. Microphone for dock, and you can see it going up and down. But the first one I actually set up was the top one, which says microphone, and it already says AIOC audio there. So click that top one, yeah? Right click it and click properties and then go to listen. And in this window, we clicked my speakers, okay? Not a microphone. And this is why it's confusing. <laughs> and tick, listen to this device. Okay, so somehow we've linked the radio to my speakers, even though it still says microphone. 
right? And that's it. Now, there are levels that you can adjust, and I recommend you do play with your levels. Um, but everyone's levels are going to be different, aren't they? So we're just going to click, uh, if you've made changes, click Apply and click OK. Now, remember, in your properties, you've got AIOC. I'm going to keep looking at them, listen. So that's what I selected. OK, and I'm going to click OK. Next one down. So we go the next one down. This is the actual microphone that I am talking into when I'm talking on my UVK5. Right click, properties, then listen. And here I've selected speakers, AIOC. Now you have to, and I've ticked the box. You have to be really careful not to select the wrong things because you could, you you can damage your AIOC, and I'm not responsible for that because you're, you know, this is your device. You just got to be really careful and do the learning. So that's it. That's what I did. Click and then apply. Click OK. I just go back to the other one, the first one. Right click, properties, listen. There's my speakers. I know it says NVIDIA, but they're actually my speakers. Yeah. Levels here. Advance. Yeah. There's the levels. General. I'll click this properties. It does say AIOC controller. Didn't change any of that. So hopefully we've applied that. So we'll go back to the dock. Settings. Remember, we haven't ticked the box. And now my my speaker is my microphone is really close to the computer, so it's it's getting some feedback here. But yeah, on your TX, you have to un untick the you have to untick the TX box so that you can push the PTT. So there's a lock PTT. Let's unlock. And now if we just go into my audio test, because I use Hubnet audio test, so we just I'll show you my Hubnet. And if you if you want a similar thing, uh, contact T7RPG at hotmail.com and get Hubnet node. So we're going to log into audio test. And it -E you can hear that. So if I just minimize that a minute. So what it does, it allows me to echo. Let's just try it. Oh, I must have keyed the mic. So if I click PTT, M0 FXB test, 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 M0 FXB test. So we've got audio. The buzz is caused by my equipment. That's probably other people testing. Oh, that's me. It's me. I've probably got it on Vox knowing me. But anyway, so hopefully that'll help you. Watch Marcus's one as well. Better disconnect that before we get told off. Watch Marcus's video, Nick Shaw. Have a little play. It's going to be confusing. But you'll get there. And I just reconnected it. You got volume here. I'm not sure if that does anything when you're not in pass through. No, it doesn't. So lots of learning, but it definitely works without a cable. And even if you have problems with your PTT, at least you can now sit at Quashang Dock. You can use it. You can listen to what's going on. You can click channel edit. You can read your radio. It's all this is happening with my AIOC device. You can make changes. You can do XVFO. Yeah, this is this thing here. We need to just select Hubnet there. Oh, the frequency is wrong, but all, all these kind of things. Let's exit that. We've got the Spectrum as well. Come on, how good is that? I love the Spectrum actually. Let's go. Got at that and watch. Whee! Gets the frequency and looking great. Waterfall. Okay, it's there. No, I don't know what normalize means. <laughs> Remember, please remember, I am a learner, not a teacher. You're watching me learn. 
Um, so thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Always appreciated. Seven three. All the best. And massive, massive thanks to um, Marcus Nick Shaw for Quashing Doc and to uh, G One L R O for making such a you know, a nice AIO C device that's easy to upload the firmware on. And also, I'll be checking out this same configuration with my super AIOC controller which does a, a lot more um, but pretty much has still got an AIOC board in there the firmware is the same but it just adds a lot of functionality and there's even an APRS board if you scroll up you definitely need to look at this site. There's my APRS, but they're even making a radio board that could actually be an all-star node. And look at all these other experiments. Always wanted to make a Digi Pi. So I'm definitely gonna have a play with this. I just need to work out how that, that screen is connected because I have that, that screen there. I actually have got it. I've got a Raspberry Pi. I've got this, the Bofung. I've got the, um, the black, let's call it the black box. Come on, we're gonna have some experimentation here. Fun times, bye for now.